The narrative seemed to fit Venezuela's authoritarian rule, security forces, on the order of President Nicolas Maduro, had torched a convoy of humanitarian aid as millions in his country were suffering from illness and hunger. Vice President Mike Pence wrote that the tyrant in Caracas danced as his henchmen burned food and medicine. The State Department released a video saying Mr. Maduro had ordered the trucks burned. And Venezuela's opposition held up the images of the burning aid, reproduced on dozens of news sites and television screens throughout Latin America, as evidence of Mr. Maduro's cruelty. But there is a problem, the opposition itself, not Mr. Maduro's men, appears to have set the cargo alight accidentally. Unpublished footage obtained by the New York Times and previously released tapes, including footage released by the Colombian government, which has blamed Mr. Maduro for the fire, allowed for a reconstruction of the incident. It suggests that a Molotov cocktail thrown by an anti-government protester was the most likely trigger for the blaze. At one point, a homemade bomb made from a bottle is hurled toward the police, who were blocking a bridge connecting Colombia and Venezuela to prevent the aid trucks from getting through. But the rag used to light the Molotov cocktail separates from the bottle, flying toward the aid truck instead. Half a minute later, that truck is in flames. The same protester can be seen 20 minutes earlier, in a different video, hitting another truck with a Molotov cocktail, without setting it on fire. The burning of the aid last month has led to broad condemnation of the Venezuelan government. More than 3 million people have fled the country because of the humanitarian crisis caused by Mr. Maduro's mismanagement of the economy. Political opponents who have remained in the country face repression by his security forces, with many jailed, tortured or forced into exile. Many demonstrators have been killed and even more injured during street protests.